Hey everyone, it is Cameron. I'm back with a uh, sales update video. I know I, in my last video I wasn't sure how much longer I was going to keep doing this, but I got a lot of support from a lot of you, so I appreciate that. Encouraging me to keep making the videos if I was up to it. You guys were enjoying them. Got some comments on the YouTube, some messages, all kinds of good stuff. So I appreciate that. Appreciate all the support. I'll try to keep going. Um, it definitely gave me some more motivation. Um, I don't know if I'll do all the sales updates. I'll try. I do feel like they're the most beneficial ones, but they also take the most work So uh, to screenshot everything. Um, but here, this is the one for April. It is behind, obviously. If you don't want to watch it because you think it's old, you totally understand. I'll try to keep making the um, haul videos, at least though, pretty regularly and up-to-date timely, so that way you guys will have that information. But I'll try to keep doing these if I can. It just might take a little bit while to get them up. So this is for April. Um, pardon the stuff in the background here. We just moved into a new place, as you can probably tell. Uh, not everything's put away yet. There's a lot, of, a couple things on the table I have to take care of and hang some stuff up today. But I figured I'd get this done before I get started. So hope you have a happy fourth and enjoy the video. So this is for April uh, 41 95 16 with the total sales. It's comparing it to May of uh, the next month, um, but I actually was down a little bit. May was even better, so hopefully when we get to that one, you guys will like it. But we'll go ahead and jump right into what's sold. Um, here we go. We have Golden Sun. Uh, this is a Game Boy game. Uh, sold that for 12 bucks. Used to go for like 20 I think, a while back, but it's really dropped in price. So hopefully you, if you find this game, there's two of them. I forgot what the other one's called, but there's two Golden Sun games in the Game Boy Advance. They both sell pretty well, so that was an easy $12 there. Uh, HP Inc. 564. I forgot what I paid for this. Maybe 5 bucks for sold. Sold it for 27 Ink still does well, um, even if it's expired. I hear people on YouTube telling people don't buy expired ink, only buy ink that's good. That's a bunch of hogwash. Expired ink sells really well. I've sold ink that's 10 years expire, like 2008, and it's still sold. I mean, I would encourage you to try to find the ink that's maybe only five years old or so. That's probably a little bit safer bet, but don't listen to people who say only buy and not expire because um, there's a rumor out there that the expire expiration is just to help uh, printer companies and them or make you buy new ink or new printers. So um, the ink is still good. If it's expired, people are buying it. You can still make money. This is a Dolly Parton shirt. It was really cool. I paid a dollar for this shirt um, at a uh, garage sale. Got in the car first, didn't buy it, saw it, and I was like, I'm not going to get that. Um, and then I got in the car and someone told me, hey, why don't you go buy that shirt? So I got back out, paid a dollar for it. Had a little bit of fading along the collar. Um, like it maybe had been washed a couple too many times, but it was still cool. Sold it for like in a day or two for 30 bucks. So look out for um, bands, concert, different musical artists or actors, different kind of shirts like that. Sometimes they can do really well. Uh, this was a Adidas uh, golf shirt. Horrible old listing. You can see it doesn't even really give it any justice with the way the pattern was. Um, I paid, I think, three or four bucks for this. Sorry, I had to stop there. I was about to sneeze. Um, it's an Adidas polo. Didn't really do it justice to the picture. I paid three or four bucks. Only sold it for thirteen. Um, there was a little tiny mark on the chest that I didn't see when I bought it too, like a little tiny dot. But still sold it for thirteen. I probably made like two bucks, but happy to get it out of the inventory. Another ink, HP sixty one. This one sold for seventeen. Bought this with the Dol Dolly Parton shirt. I paid for it originally, then I came back and got Dolly Parton. This was a dollar as well, and got 17 bucks for that. Uh, Vans, these are like snakeskin. Um, these are were a dollar from one of my garage sale buddies. He sells them. He has garage sales, and he always gives me like super good deals on everything. I barely pay more than a dollar, five dollars for anything there. All of his shoes are always a dollar. These were snakeskin, size 11 and a half, which is a good size um, and a good pattern. I had a little minor wear on the white borders and stuff, but still sold them for full price of $35. Uh, Tori Richard, uh, this is a Cabo Wabo tequila uh, shirt. I paid like seven or eight bucks for this at Savers uh, with my discount. I ended up taking a best offer of $37.50. Um, Tori Richard shirts can do well. It really depends on the pattern that you have. That seems to be what sells them. Not everyone sells. Or if you have like a 3XL, those can do a little bit better. Uh, but thirty-seven fifty for seven or eight bucks is a good deal for me. I love Hawaiian shirts that have themes from good brands. 
uh, whether it's alcohol, whether it's uh, sports team, if you like a rain spooner one, those ones just really seem to sell well. This was a Gatorade 1996 NBA duffel bag. It had a lot of staining in the bottom. It, shouldn't say, it had one big stain in the bottom um, and some scuffs, but it was super cool. I uh, picked it up for five bucks at Savers as well. I sold it for 28 bucks and it shipped first class. So it was that light. So pretty good sale there. Happy to move it. Definitely a cool piece if you ever see it. Uh, Mets Majestic Jacket paid five bucks for this. From, or 10 bucks for this from a guy that I buy jerseys from. Uh, he was on offer up and he had a bunch of jerseys and sports gear. Somehow he acquires them like every week. I um, have now made a connection with him where he'll just text me what he has and he gives me a little better price than everybody else and I'll come and pick up usually a stack of jerseys every week. Um, but this one I bought from him for 10 bucks, brand new Mets, and sold it for a full price 50. So that was super cool. Jams World, uh, thought this little tribal one would do really well, but the thing was it wasn't in the greatest shape, kind of wrinkled. I ended up selling it for full price, 20 bucks. Jams World does sell pretty well. Oops. Um, some of them go for a lot. Most of them are going for, in my experience, like 18 to 25, um, depending on which one you have. But it's worth picking up if you can get them for a buck or two, and they're in pretty good shape. This was a... Is a golf head cover. Uh, my friend that I buy at the garage sells from where I bought the um, van shoes. I bought this as well. It was a dollar. He thought it was a puppet, but it's actually a golf club head cover. So I didn't really say anything to him, but picked it up for a buck. It sold super quick for 17 ship first class. Some of these um, ones that have big animal heads on them or like some of them have like Disney characters. Some of them can sell pretty well, uh, but you don't want to pay a lot and you you know, usually they should ship first class, so that kind of helps you. So, 17 bucks for that. Super happy. Dark Cloud PS2. Got this. Don't know where I got it, but I don't even know what I paid, but sold it for 7 bucks. It may have just been in my old video game inventory that I have. I have just boxes of video game stuff. Most of it's no good. Like, nothing very rare or anything, but sold that for 7 One Tree Hill paid 3 bucks for this um, set of DVDs at a rummage sale. I was surprised that it was only three bucks for all of them, but the guy gave me a super good deal, and I sold it for forty dollars. DVD sets still sell. Some people are like, um, "It's not worth it with Netflix and everything." There are still people buying them. It's better to have the whole set if you can, and you want to um, hopefully get them really, really cheap. Uh, Toshiba bought them at the same sale. It's a um, the rummage sale there. A different vendor had this little uh, Toshiba. Cassette player. I paid six bucks for this and sold it for thirty-seven fifty. Uh, it powers up, but there must be the belt in there it must be broken because it doesn't spin the the player to make the cassette work. So it, you can hear it working, but it's not doing anything. So thirty-seven fifty there, pretty good deal for six bucks. Arrival crockpot lid. Uh, these plastic lids they sell for about eighteen to twenty-two bucks. It takes a while. There's a lot on there now. There used to not be as many. I'll still pick them up. I usually try to have a couple in my inventory of the different kinds. This one sold for $22. Bucks. Um, to make it effective to ship them, I wrap them in bubble wrap quite a bit, and then I put them in a polymer, and they still ship first class. It is kind of taking a chance that like something doesn't crush it. The problem is if you try to ship it um, you know, through a box, you end up having to have a pretty big box, and then it ends up going over a pound. And it becomes not as worth it to, to make the money. So I kind of take a chance there. So far, so good. Uh, Commodore. Um, these are system guides. I bought a whole stack of Commodore stuff for five bucks. I made pretty good money off it. I think it was either the month of May, maybe or April, maybe it was in the month of February. I started selling them, but this one sold for twenty-five bucks, which is um, really good. Took a best offer. I paid five for everything, so easy money there. Pair of Jinkos um, men's cargo shorts. Um, look out for these. Jinko jeans do the best. Like if you have um, with the big old uh, embroidery on the back. These ones I think I paid four or five bucks for, and I took. Oh no, they sold for full price at twenty seven ninety nine, and they ship in a padded flat rate. Uh, F Zero, a little Game Boy Advance game I got in a lot of games. Didn't realize it was worth anything, but it was worth nine bucks, which is something. I'll sell a video game for nine bucks if it's going to ship first class. I probably made like three bucks on it, which is okay with me. 
David Clark um, aviation headset. It was definitely damaged. Paid two bucks for this at a garage set. And the lady said she had more with really, her husband's, but he didn't want to sell them. I definitely was pressuring a little bit to see if she had any or if she wanted to ask me if there was any you wanted to get rid of because uh, these things do well. This one was $2. Uh, took a best offer of 37 and had stickers on it and marker on it. Um, but for 2 bucks and a 37 awesome deal. Uh, this is a Bolo. Look out for this. It's Candyland uh, Castle by Hasbro. It's a game. It's like a kid's Candyland game. Kind of like uh, for younger kids. Not like their actual board game. I paid three bucks for this at a garage sale sold it for full price 70 bucks so this is definitely a bolo look out for candyland castle if you see it, it does really well uh midway greatest arcade hits I had this one in my inventory uh, like in my stored video game stuff pulled it out it was complete sold it for 18 bucks Tommy Hilfiger spell out fleece. This was awesome. I got into a Goodwill by my work and lunch break and saw this sitting on the rack. They hadn't even put it out yet onto the sh um, where the clothing was. Uh, they usually leave it there for people to look at first before they start putting it away. Uh, I saw it was a Tommy Hilfiger. Had the spell out on the front. It was only five bucks, so I picked it up. Took a best offer of sixty-five out to New York. Super happy with that. It was an awesome buy. Aurora. Um, Slim fit short sleeve shirt. These Roar shirts can do okay. Some of them are like 18 bucks, 15 bucks, but some of them are 20 to 30. If I can get them for four bucks or less, I usually pick them up and try to take a chance on them. This one sold for 27 full price. So that was pretty cool. Uh, Biddeford Electric Blanket Control. This sold for 19. Um, these little blanket controls are pretty good to test them. You just plug them in and then you turn it on and you should get a light that comes on here. And then once you see the light, you kind of assume it works. That's kind of my testing for it. I don't have the actual blanket usually. If I do, I'll plug the blanket in and see if it warms it up. But if not, that's my testing. Uh, ended up selling it for 19 bucks, and it ships usually first class on this particular one. Some of them have to go padded flat right. Uh, Colin Kaepernick jersey sold for 25 This one I paid 5 bucks for my jersey guy for. It did have um, some markings on the shoulder. Um, and on the bottom back side, but Kaepernick stuff always sells well. Whether you support him, whether you kind of are not happy with his antics, not really up for debate when it comes to selling. Um, we're here to make money, so five bucks into 25. I'll take that every day. Women's Joe's jeans leggings. Um, these were 50 cents at a garage sale. I picked up a whole bunch of um, like there were seven for all mankind jeans a while back, women's, and I think there was a pair of dojos in there. And I just threw this in because um, I had never seen it before. I'm like, oh, 50 cents, I'll take a chance. It finally sold for 14. It did ship first class. Probably made like eight bucks, but probably wouldn't buy it again. It took a while for it to sell. Uh, this was awesome. It was a Pioneer, um, brand new in the box. The box had water damage like on the outside, but the inside was still plastic wrapped. Everything was good inside. I paid, lady had it a sale. I asked her how much she wanted. She said it was her friend. She'd have to call her. I told her, oh, I'll give you 20 bucks for it if you want it. Um, I don't have a lot of time because I had to go home. My wife had told me it was uh, we had to go somewhere, so I kind of made this last little stop. And she said, you know what, just take it for 20. She's not here, just go for it. So gave her 20, and then I sold this thing within a week or two for 125. So that was super awesome to get full price on that, 20 bucks into 125. Handycam, I had this, I bought a Handycam, had sold the camera and didn't include this for some reason, so I just had this lying around and I sold it for 20 bucks. Uh, it shipped first class too, so that was super cool. Florida State Seminoles Coliseum jersey, uh, got this at a garage, or a Goodwill for four or five bucks, sold it on the best offer for 25. Pretty cool. Uh, Coliseum, not everything of theirs does great. Uh, this was just an all, it was like a blackout type Florida State jersey, which you don't usually see, so I think it helped it. BKE Women's Jeans, paid two bucks for these at a garage sale. Uh, I ended up selling them for actually the best offer of 16. It cost seven to ship, so you figure we're not making a whole lot of that. Well, I don't really buy too many women's jeans anymore unless they're brand new. Uh, Dojo jeans by Seven for All Mankind or something super valuable. Another 64 game, Twisted Edge with the box, but it's kind of beat up. Got nine bucks for that. Uh, this is a Krang from the Ninja Turtles, old figure. My son had a bunch of figures he had been given to him by somebody. 
he was going through them and got rid of a bunch. This was in there, so I pulled it out and sold this for 40 bucks on the best offer. So this guy, and he's supposed to have a little, I don't know what it's called, but little looks like a brain almost in there. Uh, I didn't have it. That actually helps make it worth even more. So, uh, Space Bunnies Must Die, interesting game. Uh, paid five bucks for this at uh, where I bought those Commodore uh, manuals. Couldn't really find much on it when I was at the sale. I didn't spend too much time looking here, but just took a chance based on the graphic. Thought this is something that might have some value. Paid five, sold it for full price, twenty five. So that was cool. This was awesome. It's a smash. It's like a velour type shirt um, definitely looks you know like a club shirt or whatever paid four bucks for this at the garage uh, goodwill um, now couldn't find any comps on it it just looked like something that someone would buy uh, not me personally I would never wear this but maybe I figured there were people out there who would and I found someone who actually paid 40 bucks for this which was awesome super stoked uh, this is a Dyson. I got a Dyson vacuum and a box of accessories for two bucks. She said the vacuum didn't work. I actually got the vacuum working, but it was really beat up once I cleaned it out. I ended up taking all the accessories and selling them, and then I parted out like the canister, and then I sold this little piece here for thirteen bucks. So Dyson vacuums, if they don't work, sometimes you can sell the parts and make some good money. Uh, Joyce Meyer Ministries sold these for nineteen. I think I paid. Three bucks for these, and then ended up selling them for a combined twenty bucks. So that was pretty good. Uh, these are kids' pin clothes. I paid ten bucks for this at a Goodwill. It was a, with a golf bag. There were four pin clubs in there, and then I sold them on a best offer of seventy-five. And I think they shipped for like twenty or something. So we ended up thirty into seventy-five after shipping. We probably made a good thirty bucks or so. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Tennessee pennant. This was in a lot of stuff I bought for five or ten bucks. A bunch of sports stuff. Uh, pennant was a little beat up, but I did sell it for fifteen dollars. Look out for these men's masters. You see the little masters logo there. Google them. The polos. They have different brands that make them. Sometimes it's Peter Millar. Sometimes it's um, you know this one was a uh, actually this is a Masters Tech. It's like their official one, but. Um, Paid four bucks for this at the Goodwill. Sold it on a best offer for thirty-three. Super happy with that. These sell better around the time the Masters Golf Tournament's going around, but they do sell all year round. Uh, Hamilton Beach. Uh, this is a pusher for a food processor. Got fourteen bucks for that. Ham uh, Hampton Bay Remote Control. Paid a dollar or two for this at a garage sale. Sold it for twenty-two. Look out for these fan and light remotes. They do well. Um, a lot of them are going for 15 to 25 bucks, depending on the brand and the model. Uh, I paid four bucks for this trucker hat. Sold it on the best offer for 25. Uh, these old trucker ones, especially with trucking companies on there, seem to do pretty well. So 25 bucks on that. I'm happy. Lucky brand jeans took a best offer of 28. I think I paid five bucks. So I'm, men's lucky brand are the only ones I buy. I'm looking for sizes 38 and up usually. Um, and I usually only get them when I can pay like four to six bucks for them, because then I can usually sell them around twenty-five to thirty. Easton um, bat, youth bat. I paid three bucks for this, sold it for twenty-three. Probably didn't make a whole lot because I think it cost like ten to ship it. Um, so maybe I did okay. Maybe at five bucks or so, I wouldn't buy this one again. With bats, you really have to buy the right kind of bat. You need to buy the ones that are going to sell for like thirty-five. That way, you can make some money after the shipping. This was kind of a bust. Um, it was given to me as a gift. It was a bunch of Xerox Phaser ink. Um, someone thought they had a really good deal. They found this at their work. They were going to toss it all because they got new printers. They told me it was for Xerox, and I'm like, oh, it's like official ink cartridges. So I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll take it. Well, they brought me this. Um, they didn't know, obviously, so I appreciated the help, but I ended up listing them, sold them for 40 bucks. It cost like 30 to ship it because they were so heavy for the four of them. Um, and it went to like Oklahoma, I think, or something like that. I don't remember, but um, I guess I probably made a little bit of money. Maybe made like three or four bucks. Didn't get a return, so I was happy about that. But yeah, don't waste time. If it's not official manufacturer ink that's off the market, it's really not worth selling. Uh, North Face um, Windbreaker. Paid six bucks for this at Sa or Salvation Army, and I sold this one for thirty-two fifty. 
So super stoked about that. Did ship first class. Uh, Ralph Lauren pink uh, plaid. I picked this one up just because of the color pattern. I paid like four bucks. Sold it for sixteen nineteen. Another Kaepernick jersey. This one sold twenty seven fifty. Did have um, a stain on it. It was kind of wrinkled. It was a Super Bowl one, but I ended up paying. Uh, paid five. Sold it for twenty seven fifty. So super happy about that. Old listing of a bunch of books I had bought. These were the Hattie collection. Finally sold over seven bucks. Happy to get rid of them. A White Snake uh, World Tour shirt from '91. Uh, this one I ended up taking a best offer of thirty bucks, and I ended up paying three for that. So pretty cool. A uh, paddle for a bread maker got fourteen thirty nine just for this little tiny paddle. That's why I buy the bread makers if I can get them for up to five depending on the brand and it has the actual tin and the paddle usually there's some money there uh, there's this one thrift store I usually get them for about three bucks and usually I'll pay because I can sell the paddle for 15 10 to 15 and then usually the bread maker for around 20 or the pan for around 20. P90X sold this one for 37 paid 10 bucks for this so that was a good deal uh, this is a bowl I found that just by itself at a thrift store it was like two bucks and uh, listed it and sold it for 18 and shipped first class or so probably made like seven or eight bucks there paid 15 bucks for this Practica camera with the big old lens on there from my um, reseller friend I uh, paid up for it I bought a bunch of stuff didn't really want this that bad um, but ended up taking it because I was making a good deal with everything else uh, I took a best offer of 50 bucks, so I definitely made some um, some money there. Uh, probably made like 15 bucks off it, maybe 20. So happy about that. Um, Spanish Bible story set. Got these for 10 bucks for all of them. Ended up selling them for 55 on a best offer, so that was awesome. They make this set in English too, called the Bible story. Um, this is the dragonfly. This was really dumb here. Um, Got a best offer of $15. I wanted the counter with 20, hoping to get a little bit more. I accidentally hit accept offer. I think I paid four or five bucks for this, so I probably made a little bit of money, but um, shouldn't have, didn't mean to click accept. So the person got a little better deal. So these were, uh, these go to a Bragg Polar Care. They're the little straps that help tie the cooling mat to you. I had these lying around after I sold, sold the Bragg stuff and I forgot about them. So I listed them for $39.99 or best offer, and someone actually came through and paid full price for 40 bucks for those. So that was insane. Super happy. Good to know for the future, too, because you pick those up sometimes with the systems. You can make some extra money. Uh, Polaroid got 30 bucks for that. Paid five. Uh, Boo Boo. Um, Kitten paid a dollar for this. Little plush here. Um, it's like, I guess they have a bunch of different ones where they have little injuries, I guess. Uh, ended up selling this one for thirty-one forty-nine full price for one little stuffed animal. Uh, men's cargo shorts. These ones went to Hawaii. Um, not the best listing, as you can see, but ended up. These were ones that I had picked up over time. Um, ended up paying, I think, a buck fifty for these each of these ones, and then I think I had a couple bucks in these. And then I sold them for full price sixty-three. They ship in a large flat rate board game, and shipped them out to Hawaii. Uh, some horror DVDs. I got these and a lot of stuff I picked up with a bunch of video games. They were just sitting in there. I threw them together. I was hoping to get like 15 or 20, but they ended up selling for 13. Uh, I think it cost like 5 to ship them, so it really wasn't worth it. Uh, this was a really cool food processor bowl here. Um, this is the one where um, someone had, uh, I guess, the. I think this is the one where the husband died. He bought this food processor for his wife, and then he, I think he was paralyzed the next day in an accident. This was the last gift he got his wife before he was paralyzed, and the grandson was looking for this bowl and found it and asked me, you know, if I could ship it right away, make sure it's ready because their bowl broke, and she really likes the food processor because it was the last one, last thing her husband got her as a gift. So, Super cool story. I think, I'm pretty sure it's this one. So that was pretty cool for $31.49. I paid three bucks for the whole system. Paid 50 cents for this little um, General Rildo action figure for Dragon Ball Z. I sold it for $11.69. Happy about that. 
this was a Nike swoosh um, shirt. I think it was four bucks. It had a stain on the back. It didn't really do a good job, and it's an old listing. The guy paid 20 wanted to return it because it didn't fit, but never ended up returning it. So don't know what happened, but 20 bucks, pretty good there. Uh, Big Mouth Billy Bass Christmas Edition. This one was broken. It wouldn't sing right. Um, paid a dollar for it or two. Sold it for 20 I think it shipped for like 10 It wasn't really profitable. I, I'd only buy this so I could verify it worked if it was in really good shape. Another drill charger for $17. Uh, TI-84 graphic calculator, but it's got a dead pixel. You might see it right there. Uh, I paid $2 for this at Goodwill. Still sold it for 30 because it did work just with the dead pixel. Um, some Alice in Wonderland um, Disney Vans. I paid five bucks for the bought like five pairs for 27 bucks. I wanted five a piece, but she counted with 27, obviously, for all of them. So I said, sure. This one I sold for best offer $56, and I shipped them in a padded flat rate. East Hampton polo um, shirt. This one was three bucks at the um, Salvation Army. It had the sticker on there, so it said as new without the tag, but it had the sticker. Sold on the best offer for twenty bucks. Uh, Disney Studio Mickey Mouse Hawaiian shirt. This one was also a best offer, thirty-five bucks. I think I paid five to six for that, maybe seven. So that's pretty cool. Disney um, official Disney Hawaiian shirts do well. A um, Milwaukee charger. I paid twenty bucks for like seven chargers, twenty-five bucks for seven chargers, and I sold this one for twenty-eight. Yahtzee score pads. I don't know where I even got this. I may have paid a dollar. Uh, there were a bunch of score pads in there, and I sold them for ten. I was happy. It was a pretty funny sale. So I'm like, wow, someone actually bought that. So uh, I made a couple bucks. Nothing wrong with that. Memorex light scribe. I picked these up on um, Mercari uh, for ten dollars. Shipped. They had them listed there. Person really underpriced them. Uh, paid ten bucks, got them, and I sold them for fifty bucks within a couple days. So that was a really good deal. But I am finding that Mercari is becoming harder and harder to buy stuff to flip. People are buying stuff so quickly before you have a chance to even buy it. Highway Patrol um, hat. I don't think it's an official. I think someone just put the patch on there. Um, but I sold that for thirteen. I paid fifty cents. Padres, um, Brian Giles jersey. So this one for full price of twenty-five bucks. I had paid four. A uh, Twiggy I didn't crop this well at all actually, but it's a Twiggy. Paid two bucks for this London blue leather. It's got an asymmetrical zipper on it. Super cool. It is women's, not my. Uh, wouldn't fit me, but I thought it was pretty cool either way. That's why I picked it up, and I ended up selling this one for full price, thirty-five bucks. So that was awesome. Kermit the Frog, paid five bucks for him. This is a 1976 old plush. It was definitely beat up, had some stains, but I actually sold this one for full price, 35 bucks. So awesome. Uh, Aliens vs. Predator, ended up selling this for 16 bucks. It was a $3 game at, I think, $2.50. I paid, got two games for three, for five bucks. So $2.50, you got that for 16 So pretty cool. I didn't even know that one was actually valuable. So I probably passed on it before, but now I'll keep an eye out for it. Um, Grey's Anatomy Scrubs paid five bucks for the set. Made a mistake here. Um, the one is an extra small, then one's like an extra small petite. I listed them both as extra small. I think the pants are petite, so they're not long enough. I sold them for 22 on a best offer, and then I refunded the lady $10 for the pants. So I ended up, it did ship first class, so... I ended up probably breaking even. It's a good brand. Look out for Grey's and Nights, especially if it's the active and you have the full set. I took a, I shouldn't have took that offer anyways. I could have made more money on it. Probably would have sold for 30 or at least got 25 And I should have done a better job with the pants. So that was kind of a bummer there. Didn't lose, but it did, didn't really make anything. Hero Escape Lot. This sold for 65 bucks. I had paid 5 for this at a garage sale. And sold it for 65. I think it costs like 17 to ship it, so we did okay there. Hero Escape does well. Yankees Pullover paid five for this at the Goodwill. Sold it for full price, 45 bucks. Seven for all mankind. Um, men's jeans, size 40, good size. Got 33 bucks. I like selling the size. Like I said, 38 plus for the men seems to do pretty well. Sony PS3 motion controllers. I bought a PS3. 
uh, for 75 bucks, I think, with a bunch of stuff in it, or maybe 60 bucks, maybe. And I ended up selling this for 60 out of there, and I kept the system, so that was pretty good. Uh, Tracy McGrady jersey, I actually sold this for um, full price 30, but I was an idiot and I copied someone else's listing and put men's, and it's a youth. And I don't know why I did that. I made a mistake, I returned it, it's been relisted now. So, did sell it for 30. Tracy McGrady is actually a pretty good jersey to sell, his sell pretty well. Um, but unfortunately, I was dumb and I had to have a return. Marlins, uh, this is a really cool old school teal um, majestic jersey. I paid five bucks for this. All these like sports stuff I get at this one Goodwill by my work, it's like super good. But five bucks for this Marlins jersey. Ended up selling it for full price. Oh no, I ended up selling the best offer for 40 bucks. Uh, Zegna tie sold for 13.49. I think I paid two bucks for that. This person bought the other one for 13.49 as well. Paid two bucks, so they bought them both. Uh, this is a food processor bowl. I paid three bucks for the whole setup. Sold this for 18. Uh, another Biddeford um, control. This one sold for 18 bucks. Brooks Brothers paid three bucks for this tie. It was brand new, and I sold it on a best offer of 25. HP Inks, I don't know what I paid for, it's probably a dollar or so, got 13. Uh, Harley Davidson, um, uh, this little thing, it actually was, it looks brand new, but the box was opened and it had come out of there. So uh, it seemed to be unused, but I sold it for 22.49. I paid five for it, so it did okay. Awesome. Joyce Meyer, if you find her audio um, CDs here, these ones I bought for best offer. Uh, I think I paid 40 bucks for everything, maybe 50 for everything, and it came with other stuff too. And I sold that for 130 Guitar Hero uh, Wireless Tongo for PS3. Sold that one for 40 I paid like 10 bucks for a bunch of stuff at one sale and these there were two of these in here so that was a sweet deal. Uh, Super Mario 64 I paid five bucks for this got 21 bucks for it. Paid five bucks for these it's the second World War Winston Churchill set. I was at the library sale they have. They usually have little book sets for pretty cheap. Paid five bucks and got 65 so super happy about that. Um, this is a Michael Jordan jersey had a stain on it paid Five or six bucks, sold it for 40 full price. Sonic the Hedgehog set, these are just lying around on my video game stuff, sold them for 20 bucks. Fred Perry tracksuit, sold this for 27. I think I paid six bucks for it. Fred Perry is a pretty good brand, some of the stuff does well. Uh, Lakers, Kobe Bryant jersey, I paid, I don't know, six or seven bucks. I think I paid up for this one. And I ended up selling it for 25 on a best offer. It was a youth one. Colin Kaepernick jersey. This one had um, it was the red one. It was men's um, size large. Sold it, paid five, and ended up selling it for forty bucks. So that was super cool. Um, let's see here, Alice. This was a dollar game in a garage sale. I left the sale. Didn't look it up. Never heard of it. Left the sale. Something prompted me to just look at it. Look it up. Found out it was worth eighteen bucks. Went to another sale. Turned around. Came back. Was still there. Bought it for a dollar. Sold it for eighteen. Um, let's see, Halo 3 shirt, Halo shirts do well, not Halo 4, or, or the Master, if there's like a, I don't know if they have the Master Collection one, but the th Halo 3 B and backwards, I always do get like about 20 to 25, 30 bucks. This one I think I paid 2 bucks for, sold it for 22.49. Trojans, sold this for 33.20, I had it for a long time, I probably paid like 10 bucks for it or something a long time ago, but I still got 33. Um, Carol Burnett VHSs, sold these for 20 I had paid $0.50, cents, I think, each, maybe. I think that's what it was. So I probably paid like three fifty. sold it for 20 Not really a great deal, but if you get a bunch of them that are sealed, there's even more you can do even better. Uh, Dragonfly shirt, sold that for full price, $28.79. Joy Smart, these were with the same set that I had bought. These were... Um, I took a best offer of 50 bucks, just a bunch of discs, so that was cool. Old Nancy Drew books, I bought a bunch of Nancy Drew for 5 bucks. These were the really old ones, a lot of them together. I took a best offer of 30. Duluth Trading, these are Flex Firehose canvas pants. These are a higher quality. 
um, paid five bucks and sold them for thirty. Philip Rivers paid five bucks for this. It was a four XL, so it was a huge jersey. Uh, I actually paid ten bucks for this, and I sold it for a full price. No, sold it for a best offer at thirty. It went international to like England or something. Uh, Toastmaster, this is a good brand. Look out for the Toastmaster bread machines. I sold this pan for thirty-eight bucks just for this pan. This is like the highest I've ever sold a pan for. Toastmaster, that one seems to do well. Under Armour, uh, Heat Gear. This was a MLB Winter Meetings from 2016. It was brand new. Paid five, like forty-nine for it, and I sold it for twenty-three. So I was super happy about that. And it was listed for twenty-five, so it only lowered me two dollars. Uh, these are some beats. I paid a dollar for these uh, power beats. They didn't work, um, and they were kind of beat up. But I sold them for eighteen bucks. Another Commodore out of that five dollar lot sold that for eighteen. This is another Mickey Mouse Hawaiian shirt sold it for thirty one forty nine full price. Wagner wear. Um, this is a big one. A little griddle here sold that for forty five. I had five bucks in it, so that was cool. Bread Polar Care, this one sold for $90. This was a newer one. I paid $15, but got $90 for it. Look out for the Polar Cares, but technically you can't sell them. You're not supposed to sell um, medical type stuff. So if you list it, if it's listed too long, you could get it taken down. But I still sell them and kind of take the chance, but don't do that. Uh, Thomas Pink bought these for $5 each. Uh, one of them had a little tiny mark, but it was more of like an undershirt to be worn, on, not an undershirt, but to be worn under a jacket, um, the white one. Uh, but paid five, so I paid 20 for all those. Or maybe, no, I paid four each. So I paid, what, 16 for all of them. And then I sold them on the best offer for 75. So happy about that. Another camera for 28, a Polaroid. Some flight manuals. I paid five for a bunch of flight not flight manuals, like flight guides and different stuff. Uh, sold these ones for 25 Look out for these transparency films. If you find them and they're sealed, um, they do really well. I bought these ones at a garage sale for, I think, 5 bucks for the whole set of them. Two of them were sealed. One was opened. I sold them on a best offer of 50 bucks. They are heavy, though, so I think I put them in a regional A box. Uh, Shilton repair manual. Paid 2 or 3 bucks for this. Ended up, no. I bought a two, three manuals for ten bucks, so we guess three something for this. Sold it for thirteen. Black and Decker food processor bowl got eighteen for that. Uh, Legend of Dragoon it was complete and working. Sold it for twenty-two. Peter Millar check um, button front long sleeve shirt got eighteen for that. Forgot what I paid. Uh, let's see here, uh, Magnavox remote control. This was out of a fifty cent. I bought a bunch of remotes for 50 cents each. Sold that one for 10. These ones were a problem. Uh, Disney vans, Beauty and the Beast. Um, there was a tear along the side, kind of right here. It still was attached, but it started to tear the top fabric, which I did say, torn near the seam on one side. Um, they still worked. Like, you could still wear them. You know, I, it wasn't like it was detaching or anything like that. Um, sold them on a best offer for $25, which was fine because they had damage, and they would have gone for probably more like 40 if they didn't. The lady said, you understated the tear. It's the worst thing I've ever seen in a shoe before. I was a bunch of, like, really, lady? I literally said it, and in my listing, I even elaborated more. There's a clear picture of what it is. Um, she wanted a return. She didn't want to have to, oh, she wanted her money back, didn't want to have to even return it. Um, she was just a piece of work, so I ended up um, just for giving her the money. It wasn't worth the time, so I lost the five plus the seven to ship it. Um, so we're in the hole a little bit there, but that's just part of the game. I could have made her return it, uh, but honestly, I felt like she was a negative feedback person, so I just refunded the money. Maybe I gave in. Maybe it should have, you know, fall a little more and got them back. But um, like I said, I sold another pair of vans for seventy bucks, or no, fifty-six bucks, and I paid, you know, twenty-seven for all of them. So. Figured it was okay, um, but sometimes you're going to deal with those people. You have to figure out what you want to do. Uh, a little poker game. This was also returned or refunded. It works. I played it. It had been sitting there and sold it for 10 bucks. and she said the left button doesn't work anymore. So 
I just refer to the money at that price. It's not worth it. I didn't pay anything for this, uh, so I was only out the shipping cost. I just refund her. I'm not a trust her, and it's only ten bucks. And she's trying to scam me on that. It's no big deal. So two in a row that were bad. Uh, Tech Shoemaker um, little cartridge boxes. I paid three bucks for a whole bag of these plus another three from a different brand. Sold these on a best offer for thirty bucks. They were beat up, had a lot of wear, had some rust on the buttons, but. Um, Pretty cool for 30 bucks. Awesome Reggie Bush. It doesn't have Reggie Bush's name on the back, but it is his number and it's from that time period. Trojan jersey. I paid five bucks for this. There was a stain um, on the number part, but I couldn't really get it out. But I ended up listing that and sold it for full price 45 and got a glowing feedback on it. The person was super stoked. So awesome jersey there. Uh, fitness guide, these always sell for about 10 for the P90X, so if you do get one and it's not written in or anything, you can get about 10 bucks. Uh, HPE, sold that for 30. Don't remember what I paid. I think I paid a couple bucks for the whole, for all three of them. Dune, got this in a PS1 game lot that I had bought. Paid 10 bucks for a whole bunch of PS1 games. Pulled this out of there, sold that for 12. Uh, these 20 questions always go for about 9 bucks for me, so I usually pick them up for 50 cents or a dollar, and I'll sell them for 9 Donald Trump tie, paid 2 bucks for this, but it had a stain. You can kind of see it right there. It's more so on the, the inside of the tie. It barely bleeds over, just a tiny little bit on the uh, front side, but I sold it on a best offer for 12 Happy to get rid of it. This is the other Jeep manual that I bought, that one I just sold uh, for 10 bucks. This one I sold on the best offer of 30 bucks. It was beat up, but this is the original one. They do go for like 40 or 50 if they're in good shape. So I got 30 on that. So that was cool. Cool picks camera. I bought this for 15 uh, from my Jersey guy, actually. He had this on offer up, so I went down there and picked it up. Definitely some advice for you if you're buying stuff on offer up. Facebook, look at their other stuff. Or ask them if they have anything else that you're interested in, because a lot of times you can make it even more beneficial and buy multiple things or get a better deal on something and make some more money. So I bought this for 15 sold it for 65 Harley Lamp um, paid 15 for this, maybe 10 I don't remember. Um, sold it on a best offer of $80. I've had this thing for a long time. There was some damage on the inside of this thing. It was damaged. Uh, there was a repair to the back of it. It didn't really... Um, get going that well. I don't know if it didn't heat well enough, but it took a long time. Um, and I'm not sure if this was even the original um, little glass piece here. But I sold it for 80 bucks. I ended up shipping it to Arizona, fortunately, uh, for like $12 or something. I packed it. Everything was in its own box. This was in its own box. This was in its own box. This was in its own box. The guy left me really good feedback, told me the thing worked perfectly. Best packing he had seen. Something I was super stoked because I was worried about this thing. I even caught the play of just parting it out and doing it that way to be easier. But it did work out. Uh, made some money there. So uh, KitchenAid. This is the bowl. It goes to a huge KitchenAid food processor. This thing is like 200 bucks or something brand new. Maybe 150. I, I don't remember. But it was something expensive. I bought it 10 bucks used. It was really sticky. With like they didn't really wash it well. So I washed it all down. Sold just the bowl for 40. And I think I've sold one other piece for like 15 so we're doing well there. And I still have the lid and a bunch of other blades and stuff. Uh, Boston Acoustics AC Adapter. Uh, this was, I think, 50 cents or a dollar. Sold it for 15 oh, And I guess that ends the month. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I apologize. It's way late. We're already in July now. It's July 4th. Again, hopefully you guys are going to have a good 4th. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll try to keep doing these as much as I have the energy for, and I'll still try to do the sale or the haul videos because those are pretty easy to do, at least relatively speaking. And uh, again, I appreciate all the support as well that you guys gave me after that last video. I really appreciate people taking the time to let me know how much they like the videos and they want me to keep doing them. Um, it's great to have that support, and I know you guys didn't have to do that, so I appreciate it. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.